welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today on the show, we're going to make a classic mac and cheese. Now, in a kettle, I've got four tablespoons of butter that's melted, one fourth cup of all purpose flour, and we're just going to make a roux. This is going to stick in our cheese sauce. And we're just going to mix it together and just keep stirring it 30 seconds to let the raw flour taste cook out. Alright, now we can start adding our liquid. I've got one cup of milk. This is whole milk, but you can use any kind. Two cups of heavy whipping cream, or if you don't have that, use half and half or just all milk. If you're going to do that, you would need three cups of milk all together. And we're just going to bring this up to temperature and warm it up. And since it is our milk and cream starts warming up, then we're going to put it in our cheese and let it melt. I've got some mild cheddar cheese if you want to use sharp. You can use white cheddar or do a mixture of some cheeses. I've just got it cubed up. You can grate it if you want to. That was a half a pound of cheese. And I've got some more cheese in case we need to add any more. Because we want it cheesy. Alright, let's put some seasoning in our cheese sauce. Salt and pepper to taste. My elbow macaroni noodles on the back burner. I'm just boiling them off the back of the package, sis, but I want them all dente because we're going to put this mac and cheese in the oven. So cook it about shy, whatever the back of the package says, minus two minutes. You don't have to use elbow macaroni, you can use the little shell pasta, whatever pasta you like. And that was a half a pound. We got our salt and pepper. And then I put a little bit of onion powder. Garlic powder. And a little bit of pepper again. If you don't like any of them seasonings, leave it out. Okay, I've got my sauce on low to keep it warm. And as soon as my noodles are done, I'm going to drain them and put them in here and we're going to cut them with the cheese sauce. Alright, well, let's add our pasta. And I also ended up adding another one-fourth of a pound of the cheese to make it cheesy enough for us. So all together it was a three-fourths of a pound of the cheese I used. I'm going to get me a baking dish and I just butter sprayed my baking dish and we're just going to put it in our dish. We like ours extra creamy. So if you want yours on a more drier side mac and cheese, then don't put as much milk or cream or whatever you're using. I can't stand dry macaroni and cheese though, so just totally your preference. The rest of the block of cheese I shredded and we're just going to sprinkle on top. This is totally optional. You don't have to do this. You don't have to put cheese on top. I just shredded it with my box grater. But who doesn't love more cheese? Alright. Into a preheated oven. 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes. we will come back when it's ready. All right, the mac and cheese just came on the oven. Um, I let it go for about 25 minutes and then I flipped it to broil. I let the top broil for about two to three minutes to get it all nice and brown on top. And then I let it sit for a good 10 to 15 minutes before we start digging in it and serve it because it's extremely hot.
You can see how creamy it is. So there you have it. Mac and cheese my way. You can also substitute your cheese out like I said earlier. You can use the Velveeta if you wanted to use that or any other flavors of cheese like you could do a five cheese mac and cheese and use five different kinds of cheese.